Hey guys, so I've never gotten a pair of Air Jordans before, and I did. I got my first pair of Air Jordans. I have no idea what these things are about. I went to the Nike store to do a return, and I was like, what's this gigantic line? It's like there's like a new diamond Air Jordan out. So I got a pair. These are the Air Jordan 1 Mid SE white slash black dash multi dash color. And I was like, all right, I'm gonna give them a try. It's like, I, I don't want these shoes that I came here for. I just, I'm gonna get these and see exactly how these are. So for me and for you, this is gonna be a showcase of a shoe that I know nothing about, but as soon as I put this on my feet, I grew an appreciation for maybe why people collect, wear, and like these shoes. And I just kinda wanna share this here with you guys. I've done other shoe reviews in the past, some running shoes, uh, the Nike, Kobe, fast laced shoes, but this is the first kind of mainstream pair that I got for $135 and they're like, oh, this probably will go up in price to $400. And I was like, I don't know, I'm gonna wear them. I'm not a collector. I wear every shoe. I don't keep anything in the back. I do have tons of shoes, but they are all worn. They're all gross. And eventually this will be too. But what I found very interesting is this kind of matches my aesthetic. I wear a lot of black, black shirts, black pants, but I always try to keep something that is a little bit different, an accent piece. Is it accent or is it contrasting? One of the two. You know what I'm talking about. Can you see what's special about these and why these are diamond shoes? Look at the way that the light hits on it. That's not something that's in the camera. We do have some warm light coming from over there, but it's shimmering. It's an iridescent white. And please tell me if I'm right or wrong. That's a diamond around the Jordan logo. I believe, and I really do believe, this is diamond for the NBA 75th anniversary. If you've seen any of the um, authentic and swingman jerseys from Nike, they have those Nike swooshes in diamond and the back logo in diamond too. That's just what they are. I feel that's what it is. Please, if anything, just tell me like if I'm wrong, but these would be what they call and what I've seen online as the diamond edition shoes. It would make perfect sense. So for me, a person who's never tried a pair of these shoes on, who's never been interested in them, I was like, I'm gonna give them a try. I'll try them on the store. And I was like, wow, these aren't as stiff and rigid as I thought. Because when I picked these up, I was like, this feels stiff and rigid. But I put them on. The, the ankle support, because for me, I always go for a mid. I, I go for a low rarely, maybe if that's the only option, but the mid is what I really like. I like tying it kind of high and tight to kind of prevent that ankle roll. Not saying that I'm gonna be playing basketball in this, but literally for me, if you know anything about me, I'm pretty particular in the shoes that I wear. And I was really going towards running shoes with um, high art support. And I was like, my feet were hurting in any other way. But a few years ago, when I started getting the Kobe's, it's like, these feel great. I don't need that high art support anymore. I'm fine. And then I moved on to Converse, regular flat Converse, and I was perfectly fine. But then I tried these on in the store, and it's like, these just feel right. Maybe I don't need that high art support anymore. And it's something that just goes. This is kind of like a suede black. If you can kind of see that, it doesn't really have any shimmer. But then that's matched with what has the most shimmer in this white, this iridescent white. So on just regular, just regular looks, this just looks like a black and white shoe, but closely it has that shine. It has that iridescent shine. And that's what gives it to me, it just makes it something special because I don't go for like the big reds and like, you know, fancy colors and different colorways. Maybe I do in other shoes, but something like this, which I can see 
now why people consider this maybe even art. It's one kind of blank canvas because this, the stitch, the swoosh, this pretty much doesn't change, but you get to play around with the color schemes. You can see everywhere that there's a stitch, there's anything different. This could be a different color, this could be a different way, but they made this nice, nice black and white. And if you can even see here on the bottom, it's hard to see because the light's coming this way. This is kind of, can you see that? It's shining through. So this bottom layer here is a little bit of a translucent kind of white, and that's really interesting to see. But for me, who knows? Somebody said, okay, these will probably go up to $400. For me, I'm gonna be, wear I'm gonna be wearing them just like I do with every other shoe. Maybe I should have gotten two. Maybe I should start investing. But for me, shoes are meant to be worn. Other people will do the saving and maybe in a hundred years, somebody will find their collection and be like, hey, this is cool. But for me, I can see the appeal. I now see the appeal that I have this in my hand. It smells like a new shoe, because it is a new shoe. Wow. that does have that new shoe smell. And I think for me, the perfect colorway. Black and white with that hidden, just slight difference in variation to make it not just a panda shoe. All right, guys, if you have any questions, comments, whatever, put it in the comments section below. Don't forget, I'm on Instagram at m8b9. You can email me at matt8b9 at gmail.com. Um, I've done other shoe reviews. Again, the Kobe's, the running shoes, um, the Axu running pants, a lot of things. So maybe I will get back into that because I've been getting a little bit more into fashion and doing things a little bit differently, kind of moving away from just basic you know, t-shirts and sweatpants and stuff like that because for a while I was like, I'm wearing what I feel comfortable with. But maybe it's time to change some things. I'm not saying that this is the first or this is the first or anything is the first, but it's just maybe I'll change and feature some things here on the channel for you guys. Um, as we continue to go through basically everything that I can find and you guys know that I will either review or comment on or do something with. But thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, wow, these look really just like, I know the, the light coming from here is extremely warm, but they just kind of, they're, they're so, they just glisten. Wow, they just glisten. But all right guys, thank you so much. I'm babbling. That's it. I will see you next time.